If you love gouache and watercolour paintings, then you are probably no stranger to Sarah Burns Studio. She is an amazing art YouTuber who also has books. So this is a art haul with a twist because... <laughs> She ended up including so much in this order that it's actually like Happy Mail as well. So I'm going to unbox all of it, show you everything. And I am not only so excited, but also super, super, super happy <laughs> because she has included some incredible things in here. I make weekly art tutorials, paint alongs and vlogs. And in this video, I am going to be sharing with you my latest art haul. Let me start off with some of the Happy Mail stuff. So I am a Patreon of Sarah and it's really, really great. Every m two months she sends out two of her postcards that feature her artwork and it's always such a treat to receive. Oh, look at this. It's just so beautiful. Her art is <laughs> so beautiful and so inspiring. I don't know if you can see all the the blues, the greens, the brush strokes. Every time that I look at her art, I feel inspired. And that was a big reason why I wanted to get her book. I just wanted to see more of her art, more of where she draws inspiration from. And essentially every month that these postcards arrive is like getting a bundle of inspiration through the mail. Guys, this, <laughs> I can't even express how excited I like, I did not expect this. And she left a note, happy belated birthday. I've included a couple of extras, so enjoy. P.S. This is gouache, don't get it wet, you know? And for me, I was like, what does she mean this is gouache? And then look at this. Ah! <laughs> An original painting. I can't, I spent so long looking at this, like looking at every brush stroke. It's just unreal. It's, I don't think the camera can do it justice. I don't even feel like my eyes can do it justice. It's just so beautiful. And to have an original piece of her art, <laughs> I have no words. I'm honestly so happy. Signed on the back note, I will not get it wet. I will keep it safe. I will absolutely protect it. And you know, recently for my birthday, I hosted an art sale where I sold my original pieces. I feel like original art is holds like such a dear place in the artist's heart because you know you're not going to have the same piece again and it was just such a big deal for me to sell it and it made my heart so full of joy to know that it was going to people who would love my art who would appreciate it who would see it and that makes this painting even more special like knowing <laughs> knowing that it's original and it's yeah I love it and absolutely amazing birthday present <laughs> and I'll need to find the perfect frame for it and there are some more goodies beautiful these are like I think business cards but they just have such beautiful paintings on them should I continue with the happy mail or what I ordered let me think so continuing with the happy mail is this a coloring book look at that I won't flip through the whole thing but it's just so nice having like, I know that it's meant to be like a coloring book. I probably won't use it as a coloring book. I just like having the line illustrations. <laughs> I can't explain why I love this. It looks to me like a person like dancing. That's, I don't know if that's what it's meant to look like, but I've just really like the idea. Like, I'm just so happy that I have all these wonderful illustrations. <laughs> and then there's also Woodland Activities by Sarah Burns. And when I manage to finally go outdoors, I will be able to complete this. So it's literally, as the name indicates, just a bunch of different activities that you can do when you're out and about. And <laughs> an extra book. See? The Tree Girl, A Journey of Self-Discovery by Sarah Burns. And again, I just love the illustrations in this. I don't want to show everything, but look. <laughs> As you may know, Sarah just did a massive comparison of different types of gouache, both student grade and professional grade. And she had a few that perhaps weren't necessarily her favorites, but she offered to send them to me so that I could test them out and see what I thought of them as well. So she sent me the Caran d'Ache gouache as well as the Caran d'Ache hard like pan gouache as well as the royal talons gouache and i'm so excited to try them out let me know if you want to see a video about me trying out these gouache as well le pied de résistance 
<laughs> I spent so long trying to figure out which book I should get because really and truly um, I felt like I wanted to get something out of both of them and in the end I ended up buying both because I really just could not pick one brush mileage my self-guided painting journey by sarah burns this book chronicles my art journey since the beginning i hope it inspires others to forge their own path as uncertain and scary as it may be and one of the things about sarah burns is that not only is she an amazing artist but she's also a very very skilled photographer so my hope was that the books would be filled with her art as well as her photos that I would be able to draw inspiration from and also just her journey. So it comes signed, which is super awesome. I am so glad that I ended up getting both of these books and I'll link her shop down below because they're just so full of inspiration and initially I was going to get sketching Scotland like I spent months going back and forth between which one should I get and in the end I kind of thought okay sketching Scotland would probably have more paintings of Scotland and more pictures of Scotland um, and she says on this, this book contains photographs sketches and behind the scenes information from my time exploring and painting Scotland so I kind of thought like okay this would be the one that I would want but spoiler alert I love both of them and I'll talk about brush mileage in a a second this one is also signed on the inside and it is full <laughs> full of inspiration of photos of pictures of journeys like <sighs> I honestly cannot wait to read this book because I really just love both of them I did like a quick flip through looking through them and I couldn't put brush mileage down like I ended up reading most of it and almost finishing it and I just love the pictures the art it's almost like I am listening to Sarah talk to me that's what it feels like especially when I read brush mileage because it's a lot more um personal I feel it's talking a bit more about her art journey both of them contain beautiful pictures of Scotland and beautiful paintings that Sarah has created not only are they well made but just the content inside it and I just can't do them justice both are amazing I think that sketching Scotland focuses a bit more on Scotland itself and painting outdoors and plein air painting and the ups and downs of doing that as well as like beautifully illustrating the art that Sarah has created in Scotland and the beautiful places that one could visit and how to kind of manage painting outdoors Brush mileage to me feels even more personal like I really really enjoyed it it again has beautiful art that Sarah has created phenomenal photos that she has taken but it also kind of talks through the business side of being an artist and you know having a patreon having a youtube channel um having a shop her plans how she ended up in Scotland um favorite places to go like it's funny because I, I really couldn't pick one and I think it's <laughs> yeah, I think you'll have to watch her video on how she describes them to get a bit of a better idea as to which book is better for you. But I think I'm really glad that I ended up getting both. And in the end, brush mileage is the one that I just couldn't put down and just read. A massive thanks to Sarah for these amazing gifts and these wonderful books that I highly recommend. If you're still watching, then you are a real MVP and I really, really, really appreciate you. Let me know that you're still watching by telling me an art book that you have enjoyed or would recommend. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll definitely love this next one where I paint lots and lots of landscapes in a 10 hour sketchbook challenge. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.